I am joined by another incredible woman this morning with an incredible story. She is a true inspiration to all who have the honor of knowing her. Now to just give you a little background on her story, Alisa was heavily addicted to drugs and alcohol for many, many years. She was at the end of the road. She had nowhere to go, no one to turn to. She eventually made the decision to walk through the doors of the Florida Keys Outreach Coalition and this incredible organization gave her a second chance at life. She's going to share her story with us this morning. Alisa, thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for having me. <laughs> well, I've had so much fun already talking with you. I think you are just so incredible. Thank you. I, I truly do. I'd like you to start by kind of taking it back a little bit to when you were going through your darkest years. Um, I was 48. I'm 55 now. Um, I was in a very, very abusive relationship. Um, I was already addicted to alcohol, um, had been for years. And within three years, my boyfriend introduced me to cocaine. Um, and I discovered that cocaine stopped the emotional pain and the physical pain of the beatings and the, all that I was going through. Um, this went on for a couple years, and I eventually had him evicted and arrested. And I just turned to cocaine. I was doing to three to four thousand dollars a month. Um, I tried to commit suicide five times because I was so depressed. I was working seven days a week, um, managing fairly well with it, but unfortunately, three to four thousand dollars a month in cocaine just so you know I was Baker acted, um, referred to the care clinic, and I had no place else to go. Um, it was me and my dog. I sold everything I had, was evicted from my house. And I lived with my neighbor for about three days until I could get into Florida Keys Outreach Coalition. Um, I didn't want to go, but I really had no choice. Mm -hmm. um, so when I walked through the doors, I was amazed at how I was treated. Um, I was treated like a person, not just a homeless person. You know, you have this uh, outlook of I, my personal self, the homeless were all the bums on the street. And that's not what a true homeless person is. Um, I was homeless, so I have a better outlook on why they're there, and I really want to help them. Um, FKOC gave me a place to stay. They gave me all the support that I could, could get. Um, I had a wonderful monitor at the time. They were just, they laid back a little bit because I just was not ready for any of this. I didn't want to be, I was a hermit for two years. Mm -hmm. Um, within three to four weeks of Stephanie prodding a little bit, and then Stephanie Cable, my case manager, prodded me a little bit, Father Steve talking to me, Steve Braddock, um, I started coming out of my shell. In February of 2010, they asked me to be a monitor for the women's unit. Um, I still am a monitor for the women's unit now. I have two families with me, um, and I work at the Nice Center for the um, emergency shelter for the men. Um, and I think that, you know, becoming an America or Vista volunteer was like the best thing I could have ever done in my life. Um, Father Steve Braddock and Stephanie Capel came to me and asked me. I had never heard of the organization before. And they told me a little bit about what my duties would be. And I had good jobs. And I gave them all up for that because one thing, America or Vista, I really wanted to do something with my life because I had screwed it up so bad before. Mm -hmm. And because of Florida Keys Outreach Coalition, they gave me a second chance. And I want to give back to them everything that I could possibly give them. Sorry. Um, and I'm going to school now, at night school, uh, to get my GED. And um, I should be taking it this summer. And then when I finish that, um, I want to become do my CAP, which is uh, Alcohol and Drugs um, Substance Abuse Counseling. I think that would really help me as a monitor with the Nice Center also um, helping these guys um, and myself personally. I mean, I still fight the battle every day for the cocaine. Mm -hmm. The alcohol doesn't bother me, but the cocaine really bothers me. Mm -hmm. And don't let anybody ever tell you that 20 years down the road you have no desire for it because it's still there. Mm -hmm. It's an addiction. It's like anything. Um, but FKOC is my heart. Um, I go to work every day knowing that they gave me the chance to be who I am today.
-hmm. And I'm proud of it. I'm very proud of it. Well, you have so much to be <laughs> proud of. Like I'm saying, you are just absolutely incredible. Now, don't you have children, Elisa? Yes. Mm -hmm. You have five kids. But during the time when you were doing your drugs, did you lose total co connection? Yeah, well, unfortunately, um, the two stayed with my first husband, and mm -hmm. um, they don't want anything to do with me. Um, and my other dark years before all this, I was... Um, engaged to somebody and I had two children and I ended up having to adopt them out. Mm -hmm. So it's been a progressive onslaught of, I was married, happily married for 20 years and that mm -hmm. didn't, it unfortunately ended in divorce, mm -hmm. one minute. Mm -hmm. um, but, uh, you know, I've tried to contact them but they just mm -hmm. don't want anything to do with me, so. Well, I, I was going to say that you've really found a family, though, in the Florida yes. Keys Outreach Coalition, and now you're really being such a mother to all these people who also walk through the they, doors. They call me when I was in the single women's unit. It was, hey, Mom. Yeah. You know, so, yeah. Well, I, I get to nurture or get a little bit what I've missed out on. Mm -hmm. And so. that's awesome. And as you mentioned, you're getting your GED, and then you're going to be a counselor. Mm -hmm. and this, How awesome is this? Yep. There is no person that could be better at doing that job than you. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I, I hope so. Yeah. And I you, really do. And you'll really be able to also help people through their struggles because you've been there before. Right. Lisa. And I know, I know I help the guys because there's some guys that come into our shelter that are like, okay, I really don't think I want to do this. Mm -hmm. And then I tell them my story. Mm -hmm. And they're like, okay, maybe I can do this. Mm -hmm. You know, if you did it, maybe then I can do this. Because, you know, the cocaine that I did and the suicide attempts, were such a drastic call for help, and there was nobody to help mm -hmm. until Florida Keys Outreach Coalition. Awesome. Well, every day is a new day. And now, how many years have you been dry? Um, I'll be four years in June 20th. Awesome. You're yep. going to have so many more years, I know. Oh, yeah, <laughs> absolutely. I will, I will never, and I can say to myself today, I will never relapse. Awesome. There's nothing in this world that would make me take my life away again. Great. Because I want to go so much forward than what I'm doing now. Well, and there's so much purpose for you here. Mm -hmm. So, well, I'm going to have you back on the show much more. You've got to keep us posted with oh, everything. I will. I will. Keep you posted. Keep us posted on your GED and when you begin yeah. counseling others. I will. Thank, <laughs> thank you so much. Thank you so much right. for being on this morning. Thank you. I'm going to take a quick break right now, but I have more to come today, so please stay with me.